for 15 minutes, but some of Swindon's travelling fans probably wish they'd gone shopping instead. Jed Pittman's the commentator. Georgie King Clancy then setting himself up for this free kick. Oh, what a tremendous shot for King Clancy! 1 0 City, seven minutes gone, and Georgie King Clancy with an absolute curler. And the wall seems well enough placed. The ball curling well out of play to start with. That is a tremendous goal. Brannan going up. And Bradbury getting a little knock in the right buttock, I think. Back on his feet now, though, and has it. And searches out Edge Hill. And Casper, 2 0 City. What a disaster for Chris Casper. Back in his native Manchester. I'm afraid it's Casper, the friendly host. Manchester United player on loan at Swindon. What a terrible place in front of the City fans to score an own goal. Well, given away by Brightwell. And Swindon take advantage. They certainly need a quick retort. This is Coe. Smith. Chance for Darris to get a good cross in. Kladzi beating Bullock to it. One man up his dick off. Well, that's great control. And a good ball too for Bradbury. What a goal that would have been. Kladzi, not just a flair player, clearly winning the ball well. Now he's got Bradbury in front of him, calling for it now. But she's going to go all the way though here, Kikladzi, and still... What tremendous skill from the Georgian. He really has set the place on fire this afternoon. Allison, a bit of space for him at last. Now Bullock. Good try from Bullock. Easy enough though for Margotson in the City goal. Jeers for uh, Darren Bullock. It's a good looking ball. Now Bradbury is onside. Digby's committed himself. Great chance here for three. And Boros is there. Oh, a lovely ball from Edge Hill. This really has been a tremendous first half for Manchester City. And there's still plenty of it remaining. Horlock. Now Brannan. Plenty of players in support. He's going to whip in the crosses. Horlock! Kevin Horlock has done it yet again against Swindon Town. In the corresponding fixture last year he scored. That was a comfortable win for City. This is also going to be a comfortable win. Brannan with the ball. And Horlock with the lowest of possible headers. Makes it 3 0. Edgehill with the ball. King Kladze. Tremendous stuff again from him. Oh, that is magnificent for King Kladze. Here's Bradbury. But only Borrows could prevent it from being number four. What a first half from Georgie King Kladze. Kladze, Bradbury, Dick off, he's away, he's away from Burrows, just dig me to beat, must be four, it is, Paul Dick off with the easiest of finishes, starting City in the second half, just as the first one ended, with goal number four, and they've threatened throughout the afternoon, Crazy Dick, you have to say, very, very unlucky, he actually won the ball, Came back off Dickov. A very, very simple finish. In Kladze. Round one. Round two. Oh. Wonderful stuff again. What can this man do to Swindon this afternoon? He's 
Can we take the corner? Gets it back from Brannan. They all want to give it to him, I think. Horlock. His dick off. 5 0. Paul Dickoff, his second in the space of 10 minutes, with half an hour remaining. Swindon have conceded five. Easy stuff. Horlock. Now oh, he must have enjoyed his afternoon against his former team. Brannan. go again with King Kladze. Oh, this is just amazing stuff from King Kladze. Good tackle coming in eventually. I just get the feeling every time he's had the ball this afternoon, there's likely to be a goal. Here he is again. Easy layoff this time to Brannan. And still, this is Vikens. Not too far away from Gerard Vikens. Allison, good looking ball. Now, this is Chris Hay. Chance of a consolation here for Swindon. Margotson, not to be denied, though. Conlon. Dickov, surely this could be his hat trick. Bradbury, 6 0. Easy stuff for Lee Bradbury. Well, he could have had a hatching himself this afternoon, but so too could have pulled Dick off. He's not been so unselfish as to lay the ball on. And that is number six, and what a miserable afternoon. Well, Leroy, Swindon just couldn't handle that Kincladzi magic, could they? He was absolutely outstanding, breathless. Um, some of the things, this free kick, you know, from this angle, it, looks like, it doesn't look like anything. But from the other angle, he's curled it. Like, six to eight feet. Do you think Outside. there's anything the goalkeeper or the defenders There's, there's nothing you can do about that. You know, the wall's in the right position, the keeper's in the right position, he's put in the only place it can go. It's just absolutely amazing stuff and he was like that all afternoon. Was he just, was just slicing through the defence, wasn't he? Well, they, they didn't know whether to tackle him, they didn't know whether to stand up. You know, you might say that some of the defending was poor, but, you know, he's, he's keep showing them dummies, he's, he's gone to ground there and he doesn't know what he's doing, Casper, there. He, he was just... Outstanding. When he's in that sort of mood, there's there's nothing you can do about it, really. And uh, yeah, he was just uh, absolutely breathtaking. But what do you think Steve McMahon will have to say about that defending? Uh, I'm sure he won't be very happy. And you know, going to his uh, old side, you know, main road, he'll be very disappointed. But the defending was poor. But you have to hand it to Kim Clazzy. He was absolutely outstanding on the day. How do they pick themselves up after a result like that? Well, you know, the, when when people are in that sort of mood, there's not a lot you can do about it. I'm so sure Steve will. will and notice that and he'll tell the players that um, they, they get, the pitch got so big and it, they got so despondent at the end every time King, King Cladzi got the ball that it was, it was just so hard and it's just good for them they won't be up against George King Cladzi every week. But Swindon have been getting results without really playing very well, do you think they're paying for that now? Um, yeah but uh, it's, it'll be interesting to see what their next result is because uh, the, the sign of a good side is uh, you know, when they do get beaten how they react and uh, I hope they react positively.